All right, guys, I just want to say thanks to, to Coach and, and to the University of North Dakota. Super excited to be here. Uh, very thankful for all the work that they've done through everything and, and couldn't be more excited to be a part of this program and, and uh, you know, be at the University of North Dakota. Well, Coach, what, uh, what, are, what are some of your first to-do list items as, as you get uh, involved with the program here? Yeah, I think, you know, Coach already mentioned it earlier. The most important thing is to figure out exactly what we did well as an offense, figure out what the kids already know, and then try and implement what, what I do and what we want to do and uh, kind of have the same as teachings for those things. So um, looking back at what we've done in the past, trying to figure out exactly what they've done, and then just keep it the same because it's worked, right? And Coach talked about the excitement of being here. My job is to look at it and figure it out, you know, what's good, what's bad, what's maybe just a little bit of a different teaching method to try and help get the same thing that the last coaches wanted out of the scheme or out of the player and then enhance it. So, um, you know, it's, it's my job to try and help everybody through that process. And we've done a lot of really, really good things here and have a lot of really good players here. So. My job is just to try and find a different avenue to make it uh, a little bit better because they've got a good you know, foundation in place. Yeah. Uh, if you're an offensive player in North Dakota, what, what are gonna be, what's the biggest change or difference people that maybe they can expect? Yeah. Um, is, is it terminology? Is it personnel? What, what do you see different? Yeah, I mean, again, I'm going to go back to we're going to do what our guys do well. I know that's easy coach speak, and, and uh, that's on me to try and learn from the coaches that we have already in place and on staff. Um, but then once you know, we kind of figure everything out, how do we get it into our verbiage? And some of it will keep the exact same, but then trying to look at the individual player and how we can you know, use the scheme in our advantage so that they can have success. Um, I think you'll see the same kind of similarities in personnel, um, you know, the varying of tempo on offense is things that we're going to try and do, um, try and create mismatches in the pass game, but also in the run game as well to you know, put it into our advantage. And, and part of that, Coach and I have talked that um, that's all about varying tempo and being able to align our guys into different positions to get them into uh, matchups that are conducive to us to have success. So those are things that I think will be similar, but also be highlighted as we move forward um, to try and continue to get better. Uh, you've had a few different stops, so maybe you can compare things a little bit better than, than some folks. I mean, um, as you were introduced to UND and Grand Forks, is there anything that has jumped out to you that has surprised you, that has stood out, um, any uh, initial observations? Yeah, I think the, the family atmosphere that we have here, the genuine care for the University of North Dakota and the people that are here uh, and the students that are involved, I think that stood out you know, immensely. It's been uh, very warm, very welcoming for me and my family as we came up here and kind of got every, the lay of the land, got everything kind of figured out. Um, you know, and now being here full time, finally, you know, it's it's been fun. It's been great. The people are great. I'm excited about the energy that we have moving with with the facilities and with the program and with the players that we have involved. And like I said, my job is just to try and help in any way to, to steer it and get get the most out of our guys, you know, and, and there's a lot of exciting things. So I want to try and keep that juice flowing and keep that that stuff moving. What's up, Tommy? Um, Isaac, I know, you know you've coordinated before. You've played at the highest level. As you coordinate from the NSIC to the Valley, yeah. does anything need to change? Or how do you make the transition to that in terms of what you call when you call it? Because everybody seems to be maybe a little longer, a little faster, a little yep. stronger. Yeah, I think Coach said it best. Football is football no matter where you're at. Um, you know, the good thing is, is that in 2019, I was at the University of Northern Iowa and got experience into what it's like to play in this league. And you know, your reference, you know, my playing career, it's like playing in the Big Ten. I mean, every single week you got to be ready to go. It doesn't matter who you're playing, where it's at, it's going to be it's going to be a grind. So uh, had a lot of good experiences through all that to try and, you know, get us ready for this situation, um, you know, and excited about it. You know, I think it's going to be fun. It's always it's always something new to learn from, but uh, definitely leaning on some of those experiences that I've had to try and, you know, get us ready, get myself ready for for those day in, day out, week in, week out, you know, grinds that you're going to go through because we all know this is a tough league to play in. 
you said you're officially here full time. Are you putting a big emphasis on making those personal relationships early and building that trust, or is that something that kind of just comes naturally as more time goes on? Yeah, no, I mean, I think you're trying to do it every single day, whether you're at workouts and just talking to guys as they're in lines or getting ready to go do what they got to do. Um, but tomorrow and Friday we'll have, you know, one-on-one -on -one meetings with the offense for me to sit down with them for 10 minutes and just to get to know them, you know, and and uh, our guys are doing a good job of filling up and getting my schedule filled. But in the morning, we're going to meet and we're going to just get to get to talk to those guys because they're we're going to get the best out of them when I got a personal relationship with them, right? And they know that I know their parents or their their brothers or sisters or their family, whatever it might be. And when I get hard on them or we get hard on them, you know, in terms of our coaching, they're going to understand that we want what's best for them, not just what well, coaches being mean or whatever. Um, so that's important to me. Thursday and Friday are going to be big. I'm excited to meet with our players and get to know them more than just their first name. You know, get to know what they do, who they are, what they're about, work a job, family, all those things. So we're going to try and I'm going to try and break down that barrier here early. And uh, that's important to me because I want to be invested, like Coach said, in their life. I want to make sure that in 10 years they can call me and, and I'll answer and, and we can have a good conversation and he can help me or I can help them, you know, in, in some way, shape or form.